Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Swagman XC2 two-bike platform rack here in the back of our 2021 Ford Bronco. So, if you guys are looking for a way of starting to carry your bikes to your destination, the XC2 is definitely a really nice option for yourself. In my opinion, it's definitely one of the best starter racks you can get. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck, and it just does a great job of actually holding on your bike, giving a nice stable platform to go ahead and get there safe and sound for yourself. Now, the Bronco is definitely going to be excellent to go ahead and start taking out on some of those back roads. Going to have no trouble getting your bikes to your destination. One of the reasons we went ahead and grabbed our our draw tight hitch here today though you guys can see a lot of these guys are gonna have your spare tire on the back so we actually went with the draw tight hitch now currently available at eTrailer.com as of this video is the draw tight hitch and your Kurt hitch now both these class threes are gonna be great of course of giving you the nice carrying capacity of the Bronco and what it can do however the draw tight extends for about six more inches from the back of the bumper and that's doing a great job of going ahead and clearing us from this spare tire if we didn't have that hitch I think we'd have trouble here here with our handlebars as we already are pretty close here so that's definitely a reason i would go ahead and grab the draw tight it's going to get you away from that spare tire carrier but the only thing i will say to it though you do have to start worrying about clearance just a little bit more as we are more extended on the back end here so if you do find yourself hitting a lot of those backwoods trails having a lot of hills in a very steep terrain that you're gonna to have to overcome every time, that's definitely something to just kind of watch and be aware of. So one thing I would do, go ahead and check your clearance here. And if you know you're heading a lot of heavy hills ahead of you, that could maybe be a reason to go to the Kurt. But other than that, I think this is gonna be a great little way, guys, of carrying your bikes. Now the XC2 is excellent, like I said, of just giving you that nice entry level cost to go ahead and just get your bikes to your destination. Now it is gonna have a frame hold here, as you guys can probably see. It's securing us right there on that top rail to go ahead and sink in, allowing both of our wheels to go ahead and nicely sit inside these wheel hoops. So I really do like how they actually let you extend down in here, makes it nice and sturdy, letting yourself have a nice securance on those wheels, which is great. And these cradles are also adjustable. All you have to do, take these guys lefty loosey, and that's gonna actually allow you to shift these around. One thing I would suggest though, if you do find yourself moving, moving these a lot, giving yourself a little bit of lubrication here. You can see this guy's been in the shop quite a long time, definitely a couple years here. So you are gonna see a little bit of this but you can help that with just a little bit of lubrication. Can go a long way of making sure it stays nice and looking good for the years to come. Now this guy does have a 35 pound weight capacity rating, so that means you're gonna be doing a pretty good job or have the capability of getting at least most, if not all of your standard road bikes and even up into that mountain bike range. Of course, 35 pounds isn't the most. You are gonna start having to look at some of your more premium platform carriers if you're looking to get your heavy like e-bikes or anything like that actually on the back of your Bronco. So highly recommend look at those if you need a higher capacity, but the XC2 is still excellent to go ahead and start carrying your bikes. One thing I really like about it, we are going to be kind of impacting our taillights just a little bit here. Nothing too crazy, but keep in mind as you get two bikes on there, you're going to lose a little more, but we have a lot of emittance, right? We have all this distance, my whole shoulder length between that. That means we're not going to be blocking that light. People are still going to be well aware. And of course, you have your guy right above the spare tire there, which isn't being impacted. I love that our bikes aren't too high in here as well. Now, maybe if you had a very, very tall bike, you might start getting a little bit of window loss there, but how ours is standing here today with our more standard size bike, not gonna have any issues, which is great. To release our bike though, all we have to do is simply walk up, secure our bike, as we don't want that tilting to our vehicle or ourselves, and then press in on this little silver lever right there. That's gonna allow me to take out my arm here. I like hanging up just right on the hook there. That way I don't lose it. And then I can simply grab my bike and lift it away. All I'm trying to do, avoid, of course, that spare tire and the rest of my mass. So mounting it becomes just as easy as just walking it in. Again, the only thing I would really watch out for is gonna be your backup camera here on that spare tire holder and just your spare tire, especially the rims if you wanna keep it looking good, just as you're mounting that. But that'd be the only thing I'm really too worried about, like I said. Now this guy is definitely excellent. And we do have a little bit of measurements that we wanna go ahead and start keeping in mind. So the big one for me is gonna be how much length we're adding to our vehicle. We already know that our draw tight is a little bit more extended, which is great, allowing us to get our bikes on here. But we can go ahead and from the very end of our bumper here today, to the very end of our cradle, that's gonna be putting you right at, let me go ahead and actually get that tape measure straight for us, guys and actually have it sit. That's gonna put you right at 26 inches at max there. So I really like that. Not gonna be too far extended, even with our hitch, adding a 
couple extra inches from that bumper like that we're not going to be taking up too much room. Now, unfortunately, with the XC2, there's no way of actually combating that. The only thing you can do is bring these arms in, which keeps you still at that max length. So no way to combat it, but it's still not the worst length out there. We're not having the largest vehicle, of course, so not going to be the end of the world for us. Now, for me, the one big thing here is going to be our clearance as well. So let's go ahead from the outside here to the very ground. Let's get this without having any tires in there. And that is putting you from the ground to the very inside side there at 21 and a half inches there to the inside of that cradle. Now, one thing I will say though, you guys saw our wheels were hanging a little lower. So if you guys have smaller wheels that dip down a lot more, you may need to go ahead and give yourself a little more clearance there. But for ours, I'd say that's probably right at 21 and three eighths of an inch or a quarter even. So we're not losing too much, but if you do have smaller tires that hang a little lower in this wheelbase, that's just something to definitely check out. So just as a heads up, one thing I really like about this though too guys, we actually can open our door even with the Swagman XC2. To do that, all I have to do, bring my center mass down, just have to pop out that pin right there. The safety cable is gonna let it hang and I can just simply bring it over, let it sit right there and now, I can go ahead and pop this. It looks very close. We were really nervous setting this up. We definitely were taking our time with it. But as you guys can see, I actually have full access here, which is great. Now I can get those bike, I can get those Helmets, I can get my cooler, anything else I want from the inside here. Now, if you were really crazy, you could probably actually get this guy, bring it back up, hold that guy there, bring this arm out, and walk it right up. And that's going to allow us, if I can get my pin to align, I think uh, I'm running right into my handlebar there. There we go. One little thing to watch out for when you're modulizing this guy is these guys can interact poorly sometimes. All you gotta do is move them. And all of a sudden now, I have complete access to right here. So this is great, right? We're not having to take the entire hit, um, bike rack off. I can go ahead and have that quick, easy access, which I really like to see. So let me go ahead and just bring this guy in. But I really do like that capability. Works out quite well. And it really doesn't take us too much time to do that. As you guys are obviously seeing. So let me go ahead and bring this guy back down. We'll close up our hatch. Start looking at the inside of our carrier. Now, one thing I'll say to that too, though, when we actually do get uh, all the way folded up, you can bring both ends in. That makes it really easy to go ahead and store this guy. So let's just go ahead and take a look at that. I know we've already kind of seen half of it, but just to give us a good idea of how this is going to be stored and how it's going to be sitting on our vehicle. And there we are, already nice and secure there. Really doesn't take any time at all. And I kind of like that look. It keeps it nice inside this spare tire here. Actually, it kind of looks like it goes with Bronco pretty well, which is always nice to see. Now, the one thing I will say though, especially in this configuration, you're gonna lose a lot here in this backup camera. And naturally, your post is gonna be right here with two bikes on there. I think we're gonna lose a lot of that visibility. However, the camera in the Bronco, not really the best anyways, so I don't think we're losing too much. And again, we still have all this window to see out of and our rear side mirror, or our rear or side mirror, so I think we're gonna be A-OK -okay on that. But definitely something to kind of keep in mind when you are weighing your options. Now, a big clearance here is going to be the very end of this grind here. However, we've already gotten that based off our other ones, so I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue, especially with our other guys. But let's just go ahead and give us that peace of mind. That's putting us at 19 and 3 eighths of an inch there for ourselves. So these guys do sit a little bit higher, but like I said, we have a nice little rise in our shank here, and I think we're well up out of the way that we shouldn't have any issues. Of course, if you are finding yourself going over constant, very steep terrain, I would just check it just to always be careful. It's always better to err on the side of caution. Moving our way down to the inside here though, you guys can see we do have naturally an inch and a quarter shank here. However, we do have a two inch sleeve converter allowing us to utilize our two inch hitch. Now these guys are great. Don't worry about putting that converter on. It doesn't really change the carrier at all. Makes it really nice and tight on there as well. So no issues there utilizing that converter. On the inside, you are seeing a threaded anti-rattle hitch bolt with a clip system here. And that's gonna go ahead and take out all that road shake and play that you might naturally feel. And as you guys are seeing this, I'm actually shaking the entirety of the Bronco. That means we're all in line with one system, making for a nicer, smoother ride for ourselves, our bike rack, but especially our bikes, which is excellent to see. Now, the one thing to that though, I will say, we don't have any innate security measures on the XC2. So, Couple things you can pick up. There actually is a nice little combo cable lock and hitch pin lock to go ahead and start securing everything on your XC2. If you don't quite need it for your bikes, I at least highly recommend going ahead and grabbing yourself a hitch lock. 
going to be way too easy just to pop this guy off and somebody take it when we leave it unattended. But it is really nice how quick and easy it is to take off. I think for people that are not having a lot of space in your garage, maybe your apartment dwelling too as well, this becomes extremely easy to pop off. A, it's really lightweight. And this bottom shank actually comes undone too. So it becomes really, really easy to store. And that's one of the things I really, really love about it. All in all, I think the XC2 becomes a nice little way of giving yourself a two bike platform rack carrier. Again, it's a great little entry model, not gonna be breaking the bank for you and still just a great job of just giving you a nice stable platform to get your bikes to your destination. And you really can't beat that modularity of it, getting it folded up and getting it out of the way, which can be great. All in all, gonna be a nice little bike rack for you guys. And I think that that about does it for our look at the Swagman XC2 two bike platform rack here on the back of our 2021 Ford Bronco. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.